what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello fellow chips, this is Sketching Factory with some more hateful boyfriend. And so I spent a happy evening with Ryuda. Maybe we can go again next year. I love my and me some yakitori. And I don't I know what it is this time. Time sure flies when I'm in here. See y'all around Kenzabaru. Oh. Hey Scott. Yeah? Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day just just to me on his way out the door. Here, take this, your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. The magical, uh, so young men from Osaka can do it too. See y'all round. Good day to you, Rabu. I remember, I remember. I think it is time to close up. Would you care for something, Scott? It wouldn't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any tanjiri left? Oh, great, another thing I don't know about. Here's what I found on the internet. Basically, is a soup, like I thought, made with pork and vegetables, flavored with miso. It's more substantial version of miso soup with a larger quantity and variety of grant, uh, ingredients. Of course. Here you are. Oh, I'm guessing it's a kind of soup. But that's just me guessing. I guess I won't know till I edit the video, of course, as always. Mmm. Tanjiri from a fancy cup is the best. Mmm. By the way, Mr. Urushihara? Y yes Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? Affirmative. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? Uh, chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. He seems to come here to relax after work. A uh, Budrigar? I think it was? I can't remember. A Budrigar who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Or I would come to assume since I am not really a bird. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the time to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, haven't I met another careful driver recently? Yes, you did. I remember that. One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Scott. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? Miss Scott is a student and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished having my summer homework. Is that a yay? Like a yay! That's what it looks like. Doing the last half in one week, I reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely around here without you, Scott. At least Kenza Baru won't ain't going nowhere. Naturally not. Rebu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Oh, welcome! Azami, you came! That's not something to be proud about. Can't exactly refuse an invitation from a sweet little protege. That's what it was. Now can I? When did I become your protege? Okay, then. Yay, I ha- ah, Yay, have a seat, please. Uh... Uh, zombie, uh, uh, a zombie, is that you? <gasps> Her, 
Her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes where the re when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Either that, or um, what was it? That scene from Family Guy with Herbert and that Nazi, where they start fighting. Do do you know each other? You you might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this. Left us all behind, have you? A zombie, I... How do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him any moment. Um, a zombie. I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. Well, what happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? Bla Wait, his name was actually Blaster? I don't... I think. I remember your sexy raptorous eyes back then. Oh my god, I was right. It's, it's just like what I thought it was. He used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know... No, you know what? I'll say this right. Who didn't now the name of Hosakawa Blaster? Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us, hell's birdie is nice. Nice, I like that reference. Would have followed you to the ends of the earth. And we all knew who we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. So, since when do biker gang gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. What? When you when you ride, you ride on the inside. You were pretty famous for your strong ideas, riding with the soul as well as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero. But a hero doesn't run away, and you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tales on to the love story. A zombie, I can tell I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But, tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Arushihara remains exactly as he was when it all started slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. So, oh, this is intense. So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang in his real a fake name is Hosokawa Blaster. This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. Six months of teen cake and you look like Mr. Fava Bean. M Mr. Fava Bean? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that looks terrible. This? It fits so well. I don't like f fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. A zombie subjects Mr. Fava Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean- Stop calling him Mr. Fava Bean! Won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava- Stop saying Fava Bean, please. I should bring up. Azami's martial arts scooter. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. What's all what's all this, Scott? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it! Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. I saw it when we first met, writing his name right on her vehicle like that she loves him, I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Fava Bean, right, Azami? Uh, uh, Scott, my name isn't... I saw it with my own two eyes, when you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. Yeah, you're pretty sharp for a human kid. She's right, I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story you left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. Azami, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks, I've had enough of that. You threw me away, and there's nothing that can change that. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away, uh... 
I, I, I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads, but would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy who will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that? Yes, but is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You, I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd saved money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny, like Billiken said. Our souls are being tested even now. Oh, Sakawa Blaster, your eyes look like they did back then. Azami, enough girl talk. Marry me. Of course. Oh, God, that, that went really quickly. Wait, no, no, it's not over yet. Stop the credits. What? This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Who did that? Who started the ending screen there? Jeez, that was kind of amazing, Mr. Arushihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Oh wait, I forgot, he's a robot. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Scott. Y yes, sir. If you can hear it, I'm trying to like stop in between words. Those who want to see others, those who want to be seen. The soothing mecca for all such people don't know what that means. Turimi Cafe. Poco's Forest. Tea next to chattering birds. Crude rice to die for? Oh, Jesus, I can't read that. Oh, wait, no, now I can, okay. What's it do? Oh, right in the middle of Kobe or Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. And if you still haven't had your fill of avian company, the zoo is just around the co Wait, what? There's a zoo? That's weird. The excellent, fantastic Tarimi Cafe. The birds are waiting here for you. As of September 2011, please check the website for, for, for more recent information. I shall be waiting here in my bird cage for you. Curve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. I said the game isn't over yet. Ah, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, Conley. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you... Uh, aren't you getting no aren't you a getting a little bit uh, ahead of yourself Conley? huh? What's the number in the top left hand corner say? Oh You're just a little bit early Ugh. Though since you're here could you lend me a hint for a bit Conley? <laughs> oh my god, it's your fourth wall breaking lend you a hand I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library, I want to help. I want to help, so I'm going to help. Uh, help Mr. Nanaki. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. <laughs> That's all I can think of is he falls asleep right as he turns around. And so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. This tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Um, good morning everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Oh, now it's... Oh, okay, I see. Cool. Oh, good son is always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Duh. Focus, sir, focus! The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon for the pigeon. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. That's a peacock. That's not a pigeon. I think that's a peacock, at least. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2. Not a name I recognize. 
Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir. <laughs> Sir. Oh, oh. Hello, Scott. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh? Thank you, Scott. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find this today, right, Connolly? Yes, in the corridor just outside. The student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there all summer and nobody n noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Connolly. I'm so glad that the U.S. doesn't do last names where the first name should be. Today's an elective day. Don't remember what I attended last. I think it was music class, so I'll go to gym class. Oh, no, I should have done math class. Damn it. Today's volleyball day. Cool. Take this, Okusan smash. Have that, you. Oh, that that's it? That's all you... I don't... It sounded more like... Now uh, fencing. Good morning. What the heck is going on? The classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Did somebody eviscerate a down pillow or something? Rayuda, what? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday. It's mold in season, so. Well, one little breeze and it looks like this, unless we make sure to keep everything clean. Now that I look closely, Rayuda's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. I guess everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone. Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Ku Oku-san. Wretched mongrel. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easy if we all pitch in. And so we swap the room down before homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we could make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? Sir, um, did you spill some chlorine on yourself? Chlo chlorine? We don't use that kind of detergent. But, um, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach! Chlorine! So, sir, are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? No, no, I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night, that's all. Th that's dangerous. Sir, please be careful. Hmm, yes, ow. I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. So many things to do, I can't choose. Hmm. Oh, Conley. Mr. Nanaki, what is it? Your shift is tomorrow, right? Yep. Could you maybe help at the reception desk? We're getting a little, uh, uh no, a lot more people than we expected. Of course, I shall... I don't know what that means. Meat, I guess. Meat, verb, dispenser, a law, justice, a punishment, or harsh treatment. But I'm guessing it's using the biblical sense, measure out. Out information and directions like an oni of old, cleaver in hand, seated atop a throne, wrought from the skulls of my foes. I think wrought means surrounded. I'll, I'll check though. Rot, a verb, archaic past and past participle of work, which probably means he he's worked uh, the stuff into the skulls, uh, the throne made of skulls. Worked the skulls into the throne made of skulls. Thank you, I'll go get a chair. Okay! Imagine the, the pigeons have like these tiny chairs. It, like tiny desks, but then there's me a big human and I have like this s small desk and I'm sitting on it uh, It looks like the crowd is thinning out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine Just a little <sighs> hmm. At least he held up pretty well until now. It's almost time to clear up and prepare for classes tomorrow. 
And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower in his chair. And then he fell. Ah! I handed in my recorder and of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me? Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Awamane? I still don't know how to pronounce that. He, there's a problem. Um... There was no pronunciation on the internet for that name, so if somebody can, like, type down how to pronounce it, that would be great. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There's a, st a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry, I couldn't help then. Ow. Uh, shoo, I guess. You should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Conley. Even the students disrespect you. Pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. What a dickhead. Today is track day. We'll be timing each other today, so I've made sure to prepare to be in top shape. Huh? Was the doctor here? You didn't know? I'm in charge of nutrition for all the athletic clubs. Your advisor asked me to bring steroids today, but... Koo! Okusan has no need for those! Koo! Bring Okusan pudding or bring nothing at all! As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him and I'd really like to see how his body will react to it. Koo! Okusan said he doesn't want it. It smells weird. Koo! Have Scott drink it instead. Um. Make Okusan drink it because. Uh, come on, Okusan, we made it for you. You need to drink it. Koo! I forced Son to the ground and make him drink the steroids. <gasps> drink the fucking steroids! <laughs> I am grateful to you, Miss Scott. I am sure this will help my research. Ho ho ho! Ogosan is out cold and twitching. The doctor seems happy, but maybe this wasn't a good idea. It's day drugs. Oh no! Ah, uh, today was a good. It was good. The true real life. I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time before going to bed. S Scott, hi Ryuda. You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yes, but why do you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you could catch him bef catch up to him before he gets home. I could take it to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go home, so I was wondering if maybe you could. Sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank! Thank you! Sorry, I was about to say thanks, then I stopped. And, uh, Mr. Nanaki's phone. Now that I think about it, I don't know anything about his personal life. Is he always as spacey as he is at school? He probably spends 97% of his time at home asleep. Hmm. A piece of paper full, fell out of his phone case. What's this? <gasps> it's a photo. A photo of a bird, but I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the, in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see it. Sir! Oh, hello, Conley. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone. So I did. Thank you for coming after me with it, Conley. That was very nice of you. No problem at all, sir. Um, hmm? Was there something else? What should I do? Ask about the photo. Ask about the photo. Sir, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look inside, but something fell out. Fell out? Um, the picture, I... Ah, yes, that... Don't worry about it. After all, it's not something you need to worry about, right? But I'm curious. It was almost completely marked out. Yes, because I marked it out. He he did? I never would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so. Well, see you tomorrow. And so he left with a farewell as carefree as if we'd just been talking about the weather. He has a side I've never seen, doesn't he? He's a murderer, a sleep murderer. An insomniac murderer. 
Uh, it's that time of year when the ch ah, it's that time of year when the chill outside gradually breaks down my soul. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more or what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor. And I've been thinking about playing uh, a game that I think I already mentioned. Um. Detroit Become Human, I have it, but I haven't played it at all on my own, and I'm deciding maybe I'll play it on my channel, but it's three years old, so I might not. It all depends what you guys say.